Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier and in my this particular video I am going to show you two very important and frequently used application of Hog Transform. Okay, so in my previous video I have shown you uh, the implementation of Hog Transform in MATLAB and the actual algorithm in detail. So if you want to know those concepts, please go through the link given in the description box. Now let me show you one image which I have taken for this particular demonstration purpose. This is my first image which I have taken from internet. This is image of airport. Okay. Now suppose a plane want to land and using the camera sensor, it want to find the longest path. Okay. Longest runway present in that particular airport, which we can clearly visualize this line. Right. Now how the airplane can decide this? See, this is concept of computer vision comes. Obviously, Hawk transform we can use and detect the lines. Okay, max two best lines. So what I have done here, just modification is here in the Hawk peaks. Here you have to give two. That's all. And one more thing, remember fill gap. Remember I have told you that fill gap. What it will do? If the gap between two uh, line segment is lesser than the value whatever we are defining it will join them so what parameter you will choose in main different different case so in a different different case you have to uh, uh, using heat and trial method you have to decide that right so instead of that one simple way you can consider calculate the size of your original image and if you want to calculate the vertical line okay and rows of image gives us the vertical length so take some threshold value with respect to row like here z a is my row so what i have taken 0 0.8 times z a okay fill gap if i want to get the horizontal line maximum then join all the horizontal part maximum it will go to number of columns because call total number of columns gives us horizontal idea so uh, apply threshold like 0 0.7 or 0 0.6 into number of columns like that you can do it will work most of the time now let me run the whole code and show you whether it is able to detect the best two lines or not and here you can see first of all this is our hog transform where the peaks are detected here using the square object okay square shape and this is our original airport runway image and where two maximum best fitting lines are selected if you give suppose here one then only one will be selected which is the vertical one fitting in the best way see here let me just minimize this is the line which is the best uh, longest um, runway which is basically shown here using green color so this is one very interesting application of hog transform along with that same concept you can map instead of runway in our load okay highway so in highway lane detection we can use that okay suppose one camera is fitted in the front of car okay or your vehicle then you can take cam image from that camera and apply hog transform and get the line idea using this concept our self-driving car detects the road lens okay so here i have taken one beautiful image of road okay now i want to get the road lens that is this one and this one so what i have done same concept like earlier here i have after taking i have detected the edges using kenny edge detection applied hog transform then taken two peaks okay and suppose you want to apply fill gap so here you can write like this okay size of my image all right and here also vertical lines so basically rcc threshold you will take here instead of fill gaps like this what we will take maybe 0 0.8 is also okay and then rest of the part like that only okay now control a evaluate selection let us check see uh, instead of plotting in grayscale what i can do here i can plot in our original image itself so control evaluate selection and see how beautifully it is able to detect the two road lens now here i have given you can see 
that uh, peaks number of peaks I wanted as two suppose I am giving three can you tell me which one more line will be selected from here see try to understand this is one road lane this is one road lane it is quite clear as this particular middle line is very having very small uh, length if we apply hop transform also as we are applying here minimum length 30 so that will be removed okay so one more line will be from the visualization itself we can clearly say here okay because the road is not straight it is going up and down you can understand and here see this particular part one kind of uh, if you try to fit one straight line that will match here right this particular part because here it is going up and after that the road is going down okay so here one more straight line will be fitted so here I have changed the value from 2 to 3 and if I run the whole code I will be getting as expected this is the one road lane this is another road lane and this is the line which is indicating basically uh, here something is there so what computer vision will understand here this is horizontal line and we are getting one straight line that means in the road some ups and downs are there in the front okay so this is what are very very important concepts related to hog transform practical application i hope you have understood this particular concept this is all for my this video if you find this video helpful please like share and comment subscribe my channel if you have not subscribed till now and don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of my latest videos thank you for watching